All right, class, uh, welcome to 4.3. Uh, today we're going to be talking about areas of uh, parallelograms. Uh, today's a little bit different. Um, uh, for your at-home portion of, uh, uh, of this section, I just want you to try a little uh, online animation uh, and play, play around a little bit and see if you can figure out how to find the area of a parallelogram. So when you do that, I have three questions that I want you to keep in mind, and I've listed them right here for you. So the first one is, uh, just think about this, how do we find the area of a rectangle? That's something you would have learned in previous years. The second one is um, you're going to go and you're going to play with the area of, of a parallelogram animation and I want you to see if you can come up with a general rule that will allow you to find the area of a parallelogram. And then the third thing I want you to think about is uh, are there any situations where your rule in question number two doesn't work and if so I'd like you to try to explain that. So let me just show you how to find that um, that animation. If you go to my website on um, Unit 4 and 4.3, just over on the side here, you'll see there's a link to something called Area of a Parallelogram. Just go ahead and click on that, and it's going to load up a site called uh, GeoGebra. <clears throat> so on this site, you can see you've got uh, two little examples here. We've got a parallelogram on the side, and we've got a rectangle here. Now, the parallelogram you can manipulate by moving this uh, this little red dot by just dragging it around. You can make it different sizes. In fact, you can turn it into a rectangle if you want to, and then you can turn it back into a parallelogram. So what I'd like you to do is uh, just go ahead and play around with that. You can make different shapes of parallelogram and so on. And then when you're ready, just click on Dissect Parallelogram. When you dissect a parallelogram, what that brings up is, uh, it, first of all, it divides your parallelogram into two chunks, uh, two or more chunks, and it also brings up this little slider, which allows you to slide these two chunks over here and do a comparison with the rectangle. So I just want you to go ahead and play with that, and I want you to go ahead and make different types of parallelograms and so on, and just see what the results are. And then you're going to answer these questions right here. These three questions you're going to answer in your recap. All right, that's it.